I'll return. jump in there, John. Sorry. Um, John's comment about using them in conjunction, we do exactly that purpose. So we capture the Matterport for the imagery simultaneously while we're laser scanning. We'll have one operator at site with two to three devices uh, capturing both things simultaneously. And we'll deliver the imagery of Matterport for the photo record and for people that aren't technically apt at using the other programs. And then we deliver the point cloud for geometry and intensity only views. Sylvia, so do, you, do you have initial thoughts on uh, Matterport Pro 3 camera for as-builds? Yes. So uh, when, we, when we talk about as-builds, I think, um, you know, John uh, said it right where uh, the intent defines the process. And uh, the way I would look at uh, as builds, you know, they can they can be uh, various things. Uh, we can look at two D as builds, right? They can be drawings. They can be uh, very accurate or schematic. What you get from, uh, for instance, from the Matterport platform, they say it's a schematic uh, floor plan. Uh, you can get uh, three dimensional as builds, right? Uh, getting a three dimensional as built involves a completely different process. That is a lot more complex where you need that higher degree of accuracy that certain instruments provide. So understanding what the end goal is will, will determine what you can use it for. And uh, surprisingly, um, Richard and I were talking about uh, some of the improvements that uh, have happened since I, pur I purchased the Matterport 3 uh, probably just a few weeks after it was launched. And those first weeks, it was a disaster in terms of the data that was coming out of it. Not the imagery, but the point cloud data. Now, things have improved tr dramatically. I'm actually quite impressed uh, by what it, where it is today compared to six months ago. And um, the way we use it, for instance, we, we have a slightly different approach. We still use it as a supplementary uh, data set for our project, but we also use it as a repository where we store uh, additional close-up imagery. For instance, we want to take a closer look at a windowsill or a, you know, a profile, something that is very hard to get with a 360 camera or with a scanner. And we're going to take a DSLR camera, take that close-up photo, and then we can add it as a tag within our tour, as well as voice notes um, and uh, a written uh, field notes. So we like to have all of that in one place where both us, the team that will develop as build documentation, as well as our clients will have access later. So, uh, you know, every, probably every user is going to use it differently. Um, but uh, it's definitely a tool for as builds because as build can be defined as different, different uh, types of deliverables. So, uh... So when we're talking about as built, uh, if you're talking about as built in terms of the photography, the Pro 3 checks the box. If you're oh, talking definitely. It's one of the best. 